Hey guys, um, this weekend I decided to do a fun little project. I made a little tornado simulator. Let's move over here. So, um, I'm just going to show this to you guys a little bit. Uh, if you want to build one yourself, I got the directions off of the tornadoproject.com. Here, let's zoom in there. So I'm going to show you guys, uh, I'm not going to show you how to build the box, but I'm going to show you guys what I did to get this to work. And it's really cool. So, um, in... On the website, it, wow, look at that. On the website, it says uh, you can use like a hot pan to boil a pan of water and then, um, and then put some chunks of dry ice in it. But what I did, because I can't, I don't have dry ice, <laughs> is um, I got a little, um, fondue pot stand with a candle down there to boil a mix of um, glycerin and distilled water uh, and what that does when it boils is it creates a lot of steam and now the way this box is built um, it has four panels every panel has an open slit on the right side and uh, two of the panels have uh, like windows those are just plastic wrap and two of the other panels have uh, sheets of garbage bags for contrast to help to better see the funnel um, so now what it does because the slits are all on the right side is whatever updraft you have created in the center it's sucking air in so it sucks air in through these slits that are on the right side and they interact with each other like like that and it creates cyclonic rotation going up here let's just zoom in on that for a second anyway once you get it figured out it's really cool really fun yeah look at that okay so yeah it's a lot uh, easier to see like it's really dense if you use the dry ice and uh, boiling water uh, method but I'm just working with what I have so we look down here and we see that boiling mixture and we're just gonna it's a little hot so there's the candle there so um, what I did was I took a little glass and I mixed one part glycerin with three parts distilled water. So I mixed that together and put some in there. And when it's directly above the candle, it'll start to sizzle like that. Here, I'm just gonna put some more on to see if it makes more smoke. You'll have to give it a second to heat up. Okay, there it goes, it's starting to sizzle. You can watch that for a moment. Is that boiling yet? Okay, it's starting to. Just gonna take the spoon. Oh, oops. Push that down just a tiny bit so it's closer to the flame. Okay, it's starting to smoke. So, uh, we're gonna back up. And we're gonna put the box on it.
Now all these are made with uh, either materials you can find laying around your house or that you can easily pick up at a store. Um, the, uh, I guess, chamber is nothing except some, uh, all I used was some cardboard, uh, plastic wrap, duct tape, and black garbage bags. Uh, there's no top to it and there's no bottom to it. So you can kind of, you can like stack more on top of it to make the funnel even higher. Here, let's watch this for a second. So when the smoke's, when the vortex starts going, it's really cool. Yeah, look at that. And it goes all the way up to the top. Let me take this off here. Now the vortex only forms when it's in the box and any sort of draft will disrupt it. Wow, look at that. It's so cool. Let's see if this window is any clear to see through. You know what? I'm going to try something. I'm going to shut the lights off and shine a small light on the funnel. Okay, one second. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's so fun to look at. I think my phone might just be disrupting the updraft. Yeah, there we go. That creaking noise is just, wow, look at that. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool, isn't it? Holy cow. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, gosh, guys. I'm just so excited right now. I just love this stuff. Oh, look, it's even going above the box. Here, let's see it, actually. Oh, guys, you have no idea how cool this is. So that creaking noise is just the mixture sizzling. It's really fun, dude. Guys. <laughs> so you don't even need like a fan or anything to create the rotation that's just caused by the slits on the right side of each wall of the box and the updraft is created by whatever warm air is rising there and you can see it just from the smoke from what I'm boiling here, look at this. It even goes above the box. So, if you can take the time to make like two or three more of these boxes, you can make the funnel go as high as you want it to, as long as the smoke is still visible all the way up. But once you put all the work into it, it's really worth it. Ah, uh, it doesn't work. Yeah. 
Alright guys, I'm going to stop it here. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you like uh, some of my videos. What am I saying? <laughs> be sure to like and subscribe. Um, if you have any questions about this tornado model, I'll try to answer them in the comments. Uh, and I'll see you guys later. Just one more time. Just one more. Come on, one more. It helps if you shine a light on it. Yeah, there we go.